Hey everybody and welcome to this weekly update. Now for those watching the video version you will notice I am outside because we are in the middle of a massive heatwave here in Scotland. Um, I think today is peaking at about 29-30 celsius which is not hot for a lot of countries but for us it is definitely um, different from what we're used to to be honest. It's unbearably warm in my office here at home and if I was to turn on my studio lights, it would become even more unbearably warm. I actually had to do it the other day for an internal presentation that I did. Um, I had to turn the studio lights on for about 45 minutes and near the end, I definitely was struggling with the heat and the humidity inside the room. So come outside and do this weekly update for you. It's been a fairly quiet news week, to be honest. There's not a lot has been happening with Azure and, and, and technology that I, I've noticed. Um, there are a few bits and pieces that I want to cover off. So the Azure VMware solution is now available in Canada East and Australia South East data centres. So that's exciting to see that growing and expanding into more data centres. And the Azure Premium Firewall or Azure Firewall Premium SKU actually went generally available this week as well. So that's exciting for some of the features that it offers. I think you've got some extra TLS inspection and you've even got some web category filtering that you can do. So if you want to stop people being able to access social media and the like um, inside your network, you could probably do that as well with the Azure Firewall Premium. Although I think that's also available with this Azure Firewall Standard SKU as well. But Another offering there if you're looking to protect your network and have a bit more control over what's happening in the network as well. The other bit of news I actually wanted to cover was something that I saw Ubiquity announce. So if you've been following my kind of social media and also my YouTube, you'll have seen that I bought a bunch of Ubiquity equipment um, a few weeks ago now. It was all installed and there's a video coming about that install and what is happening with that. But when I bought my Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro, which is the kind of rack mounted type server um, or switch type control unit um, that Ubiquiti have, um, I noticed that the, the switch ports on that Dream Machine Pro did not have power over Ethernet, which meant I had to buy some power over Ethernet injectors to power some things that were plugging into my Dream Machine. They've announced an early access preview of another version of the Dream Machine, and it's now going to have PoE ports on it so i think there's eight poe ports and the wan connection is actually going to be bigger i think it said 2.5 gigahertz gigabytes um support on that as well so that's an early access thing i think it's only early access in the us at the moment um it's a shame i've obviously invested in the dream machine pro right now um but to be honest i am loving that so definitely check out that video when it launches it'll be out hopefully um in the next couple of days but yeah, that's the kind of news roundup. I wanted to keep it short because I know um, a lot of my UK visitors and, and subscribers will probably be wanting to get out and enjoy the sun and be chilling um, in the garden and such like right now with this amazing weather. So yeah, thank you for your support, everybody. Hopefully catch you in my next video.